From mid-century to contemporary, public to private, we're in search of the very best in art. Homes, happenings, stores, restaurants and people. Things that defy categories. The perpetual freshness and cool of modern never ceases to captivate us. Join us for another edition of Modern Dallas TV to discover what's going on and where in the modern world. Modern Dallas Real Estate this week visits 12728 Sunlight Drive. This striking contemporary, designed by architect Raymond Lambert, is located on a cul-de-sac, has modern amenities, premium finishes, and custom design details. Open living with high ceilings and large picture windows, overlooking private terraces, provide great natural light and expansive walls, perfect for art. The house boasts a gourmet kitchen featuring custom cabinetry, Caesar stone surfaces, stainless steel Jenner appliances, and a meal coffee station in Center Island. The first floor master accesses a private terrace and bath with custom wood grain cabinetry, floating double vanity, freestanding tub, and statuary, marble sink, and walk-in shower. The exterior landscaping and outdoor lighting create an ambiance with alfresco tranquility. Just the spot for sophisticated entertaining at a premium Dallas location. This property provides the best of 21st century conveniences and upgrades at an easily maintained zero lot line setting. The house is listed for 950000 by Karen Fry of the Perry Miller Strife Real Estate Group and can be seen on their website at dayperrymiller.com. And if you'd like to see all the Modern Dallas listings, visit our website at moderndallas.net. Modern Dallas Art This Week is here at Conduit Gallery to see the shows by Vincent Falsetta, Jeff Baker, and Jeff Gibbons, and I'm here with Danette Dufalo. Hello. Hi, Danette. This is a great show, but when I came to the opening, wow. It was palpable. Unbelievable how many people there were and the energy and the excitement. It's true. But these are artists who sort of have their own following. It really worked well that way. It was unanticipated, but not at all a surprise. Uh, they each have a very dedicated and a loyal following of friends, supporters, collectors, and family, both being a North Texas-based artists. Absolutely, and, and you really felt that energy with all of those people. But this show from Vincent yes. is new paintings, yes, as well as a group of uh, sketches from 97 through 2007. That's correct. Uh, 1997 was the first uh, solo exhibition at Conduit Gallery for Vincent Falsetta. And in addition to the five new canvases we have uh, on exhibition, there is a series of sketches that date back to that first Conduit exhibition, which we're really excited to show almost in a, a timeline, a, a literal timeline of uh, the work that he's done from uh, then up until now. And obviously, Vincent's got quite a background. He does, yes. Uh, he actually tells a really wonderful story of how, uh, as a young boy, his first job was in a textile factory in Philadelphia where he grew up and he was the bobbin boy. He would run in between large mechanical looms replacing bobbins that were um, uh, refit, refitting um, these textile machines that were spitting out different fabrics and cloths. And I think that the way he paints now, both with color and with the energy, really captures that, that spirit of this, you know, this large production. And, and in addition, he uses interesting tools. He uses a variety of brushes, and I think the, the real um, trick comes from how he applies the paint to the brush, sometimes as many as five different colors on one brush. And obviously, what a beautiful piece of work. I, agreed. So let's talk about Gridlock by Jeff uh, Baker. Okay. Because that's 
great story. Uh, Jeff Baker, uh, who grew up in Dallas, spent most of his career as a commercial photographer, uh, working and living in New York City. He's ma recently made a move to Taos, New Mexico, and I think has kind of juxtaposed his interest in photographing the everyday city streets that he sees, the buildings and construction sites, with the influence of the New Mexico painters uh, such as Agnes Martin, uh, where he's also seeing in a completely different landscape a different kind of grid, hence the show title Gridlocked. And Gridlock is out of New York. That's really where the... the, the, the Correct. All of the images do come from New York, influenced by uh, the recent relocation to Taos, New Mexico. And then lastly, Jeff Gibbons. Who knew you could make such a, a, an incredible sculpture? <laughs> it's great. <laughs> one, one, one solo piece in our uh, project room space by Dallas-based Jeff Gibbons has been a crowd favorite. Uh, it has to be seen to believe, but I will say that um, with the use of a hot dog and a bun, Jeff is able to recreate the story of love and how it's fleeting, but um, every, everybody's always rooting for it. So what, how does it all work? Because that's such an interesting concept. I think uh, part of Jeff's skill as an artist is to not be afraid to experiment, not just with artistic materials, but things that happen upon him in the studio. So he's combined uh, what we kind of call a plinth or a pedestal and inserted into it a uh, paint agitator, which is the contraption in a paint store that shakes vigorously the cans of paint. Uh, he placed inside the plinth a uh, hot dog and a bun, a Texas Red Hot, and watches, you know, watches this drama play out as you see the bun and the hot dog chase each other ceaselessly, ho always hoping that the, they will come together. And, and what a beautiful way to end. <laughs> yes, completely, completely. So, Very romantic. Absolutely. In its own way. And, and you know, but that's art at some level. It, it, well, it, that's good art, you know, yeah. I, I think to be able to say that, not overtly, uh, but to be able to convey that hope, that love of hope. Absolutely. And hope of love. And hope we'll see you next year in 2018. I'm sure we will. I'm sure <laughs> but we how will. long is the show going on for? It'll actually run uh, into the new year, January 6th, it closes. And how can they find you? ConduitGallery.com or in the Design District here in Dallas. Wonderful. And if you want to see all the art listings in Dallas, visit our website at moderndallas.net. Thank you so much. Thank you. To wrap up this edition of Modern Dallas TV, we cover local modern events and the art scene. Check out the calendar and the arts page on our website at moderndallas.net. There are always great events from the Dallas Architecture Forum, Preservation Dallas, and the Dallas Center for Architecture has great walking tours in downtown Dallas. Open houses every week, always a great selection. You can create your own mini mod home tour and Todd Camplin covers the art scene for us, from art galleries to museums and artists. You can check out his page on the website. And lastly, if you're in the market for a modern, mid-century modern, contemporary, home, high-rise or loft, we simply have the finest moderns in Dallas. For this week, we appreciate you being part of our show. We'll see you later.